dinner, but today I will be making a tutorial on how to play this very fun board game called King of Tokyo. The goal of the game is to become ki the king of Tokyo by either scoring victory points, so you're all the way to 20, or killing the other monsters. Till they are at zero. In the next, there are, this is a two to six player game, so there are other monsters, but I don't want to show them just yet. They're over there. You might see a couple of them in the next video. Um, so let's get started on the tutorial. We'll start with the dice. This game has. Eight dice. The green one. You should only have the black ones at the beginning of the game. There are there are different types. There are six different things you can roll on these dice. On the dice, you can score victory points by rolling three of the same number. So say you rolled three threes, that would equal three victory points. You roll two, three twos. You get two victory points. Then you and you guess it. You roll three ones. You get one victory point. You can get an attack, which allows you to either enter Tokyo, or if you're already in Tokyo, attack other monsters to get them down to health. You can gain energies, which allow, which give you these which will help you buy the cards like these you can see at the top of the cards there's a cost three of so there's three of these three for this one and six for this one let's move on i should make one one more is are, these are heels obviously there's a heart what are you doing when you're healing? You're healing. Let's move on to the cards. Or actually, let's move on to the t these tokens right here. These tokens have diff a lot of different purposes. They they're used for different cards. These are the cards they are used for. Plus this die. This card is used for shrink ray. If you put shrink counters. On a monster that you attack, then they have to. Then they, for, for every shrink counter that they have, you have to take away. They have to take away their die. If they have one, they take away one. If they have two, they take away two. So on. That is how. That you can get rid of shrink counters by heals. That is not, but it does not also heal damage. This card is Poison Spit. When you deal damage to monsters, give them a poison. Give them a poison counter. Monsters take one damage for each poison counter they have at the end of their turn. Very good card. I. It's a very good card. They once again they can t get rid of it with heal with heals. But they cannot heal damage. Let's move on to the next one, Mimic. If somebody has a card that you really like, like even bigger, you can put this Mimic counter onto that card. There's only one, so you can only do it to one at a time. And that 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 way you can this way you can mimic that ability without actually having to have the card to change your. To change an ability you want, Mimic, you just have to pay to that per. You just have to pay to the bank one energy. This is an extra head. You get one extra die. It's that simple. That's where the green dies come in. Smoke cloud. Place three smoke counters on this card. Spend one smoke counter for an extra reroll. Discard this card when all smoke counters are spent. These are the smoke counters. 
Let's move on. Now the final card. This, your health can actually go above 10, but that is your maximum health unless you have this card even bigger. The highest amount would be 12 then. That would be your maximum health. But at the beginning of the game, you should only have 10 health. Let's move on to Tokyo. So, in a, in a less in a two player game or three player, you would in a two, three, or four player game, you would only use Tokyo City. If you have five or six players, you also use Tokyo Bay. Once you if you enter Tokyo, you get one victory point. Every, Every single time it's your turn and you're still in Tokyo, you get two victory points, you can, but you can't heal. When you're in Tokyo, all of your attacks hit everybody around you that's outside of Tokyo. Not, the, not somebody that's in Tokyo Bay. The catches can't heal, and all of their attacks hit you and the person that is in Tokyo Bay, unless you know, you're not playing five, or six play, five to six players. Energies, and other energies, you need them to buy cards. You should only have three cards out at a time. If you buy a card, you have to immediately replace it. If you don't like any of these cards, you can clear them, put them back into the deck, and then take out three new ones. That is how you play the game of Tokyo. Well, not quite. I haven't quite explained it very well. You throw the dice. That's, this is how you start the game of to King of Tokyo. So this is how you, you need to decide who's going to go first. The pers you each take one turn rolling. The person who gets the most attacks gets to go first. On your turn, you can do, you roll all six dies. Then you have, t then you have two re-rolls. So you can decide which dies, which dies you want to keep, and which dies you want to roll again to try to get better. You can enter and do three damage to everyone around you. That is the that is how you play King of Tokyo. If you're struggling with this game, hopefully this video helped you. Um, this is a series I'm going to continue on. I will be doing other games, even really old ones that you might not even have if you do. Unless you do have them stashed away and you kind of want to try them out. But you don't know how to play because the instructions are missing. So, hopefully, once again, hopefully this video was helpful to all of you out there. You guys are awesome. Even though there aren't that much of you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.